Well, good morning. My name is Jessica, and it's great to be joining you today for the Daily Video Devo. So I'm a runner. It's a habit I picked up in college and I've kept up over the years. And I wasn't always a runner. I really didn't like running in middle school or high school, and then I, I have liked it ever since college. And now I can confidently say I love running. I'm going to qualify that. I love trail running. I don't actually like running on pavement, pavement or on sidewalks. And I live with like five minutes from a great trail network, so I'm super spoiled. And I could run in the woods every morning. I would love to run in the woods every morning. I can't, but I would love to. And it's gotten to the point, living close to these tra this trail network, it spoiled me so much that it's gotten to the point that I rarely run anywhere uh, other than trails unless I'm running a race. I don't even like running West Cliff anymore because it's beautiful, but it's also busy and really wide. I'd much rather be on the trails near my house where I seemingly have the woods to myself. Very often, I don't see anyone else out there. Um, it engages both my mind and my body and the time seems to pass really quickly. But I've noticed while running trails, you have to pay attention. For example, a couple months ago, I went for a run and I tend to be a creature of habit. So I usually run the same like three trails or variations of the same three loops. And one day I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna go down this trail that I normally ride my bike on. And it was awesome. I was running, it was great. And I was totally lost in thought and I did not notice that I passed the turnoff that I wanted to take. So I ended up much further down the mountain um, and knew <laughs> once I realized that I was like, oh, I have a long uphill run ahead of me and I'm probably going to be late for pastor prayer now because I missed the turn. I was on a trail, you know, I was, I was on the wrong path. I had taken the wrong path. Did you know that Jesus had something to say about paths? In Matthew 7, 13 to 14, he says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter it through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. You know, in life, we're all on different journeys, but there are only two options when it comes to the path that we're on. We are either on a path that is leading to destruction or a path that is leading to life. Two paths that look very different, two paths that lead to completely opposite destinations. The wide one, it's easy to find. There are plenty of people on it. You can cruise down it. You don't need to put a lot of effort in. You're just, here I go, I'm on this path. It is obvious. The other path though, it's narrow. Only a few, a few people are on it. And sometimes it can seem like you're on that path all by yourself. It's difficult to find. Parts of it may be overgrown and you don't know where to turn. You may even miss a turn and end up on a path you didn't intend to take. Yet that narrow path, that is the path that leads to life. You know, I share these verses a lot at the end of the school year with our middle school students because I want to encourage them to walk the narrow path and not be on that path that everyone else is on. And I'm learning more and more that it's not just kids that need these reminders. A lot of times we say, oh, teenagers need to know this. They need to know this. They need to do this. They're missing this. But really, if we take a good look at ourselves, we need to hear the same thing. So today, take some time to think about the path that you're on and where it's leading. Are you walking a wide, easy path that's leading to destruction? Or maybe like me on that run, you've taken a wrong turn and you were on the narrow path, but now you're like, oh, this isn't actually where I wanna be. And you're trying to get back to the path that you wanna be on. Or maybe you are on the narrow path and you're finding it difficult and lonely to stay on that path. You know, there's no map of the trail network near my house. And if you head out there, uh, you're going to need a good sense of direction and some extra time in case you get lost, or you're going to need somebody who knows the way. Um, and similarly, we don't have a map showing us exactly the twists and turns that our lives are going to take. Instead, we have Jesus who directs us along the way because he is the way. We just need to be paying attention to follow where he leads. So today, grab a few minutes of quiet and listen to Jesus. Where is he guiding you? What is your next step? I hope you have a great day.